Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit subscribe down below. Stay up to date with our latest blog posts as well as any new videos that we release on YouTube. So what I want to talk about today is five of the best money saving tips that I use in my life. So let's get right into it. Number one, make yourself a budget. I can't express this enough how important this is. If you, if you don't know where you're spending your money, how on earth are you ever going to save money? So at the end of every month or at the beginning of every month, write down what you need to spend your money on. Rent, electricity, food, transport. Get all the essentials out the way and if you have any money left over, then break that down to how much money you can spend daily or weekly and ensure you stick to it. It's important that you stick to your budget. Number two, my personal favorite, tax yourself. Everything that you buy, add tax onto it. That tax is not going to anyone else, that's going to be, that's going to be for you. You keep that into a savings account. So for example, if you're going to buy yourself a new pair of shoes or new pa a new pair of sunglasses, if the price is X amount, add 10% on top of that and then keep that 10% in savings. If the government can use this as a way to collect revenue, you can use this as a way to save for your financial goals. Number three, record your expenses. I also use this tactic every day. If I spend money going to work, if I spend money buying food, if I spend money going on a date, I categorize it, I write down how much I've spent, on what day, and I compile a list, I keep that list, I label it January 2018, January 2019, and so forth. So it takes a while before you can see any patterns develop. Develop, sorry. Um, if you can record every time you spend money, after a while you'll see where you are spending money wrong, where you can save money, and it becomes a game eventually with yourself. Every month you are competing with yourself to be better than the last month. This will also help you allocate money towards your budget. So it takes a while for these, these um, tactics to start working, these, these financial tips. So you just have to be very consistent. Write down every day what you're spending your money on. I normally use my mobile phone. It's easy, it's quick, it's always with me. I quickly take it out, I record it, save it, put it away. So after three or four months, you'll be able to see how patterns develop and I can guarantee you, you'll start saving money. So number four, make your debt visual. So just like you need to write down your goals, make your debt visual. Don't be embarrassed. Use it as an incentive to work harder. Put your debt on your door, on your mirror, in your bathroom, wherever. Let it remi remind yourself every day that you need to pay down your debt. It's very important. If you're going to put your goals on the, on the wall to say, oh, I want to achieve this, 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 you need to immerse yourself in it. So the same thing applies to your debt. Make sure you see it. Make sure you have a tangible plan to eradicate, eliminate your debt completely. If you, if you are struggling to survive, if your disposable income isn't, isn't enough, you don't have a surplus at the end of every month, then I suggest that you read the blog, see what um, tips will help you. Not all of them will be applicable to you, but definitely try and use the ones that you think you can implement. It will take a few months, get into it, try your best, and if you are spending more than you're earning, then try and reduce that every month until you get back into a surplus. But please do not take on any more debt. Number five. Build up an emergency fund. Emergency fund, having an emergency fund is so important. It gives you a clear state of mind. So you might be stuck in your current job at the moment thinking, ah, oh, I want to change. I need to get to another job. I, I, but you're too afraid to because you don't have a cushion. You might think, if I don't find a job within a month, how am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to pay my electricity? How am I going to pay my school fees, my child's school fees? So it's very important to build up an emergency fund. So if you want to take a risk, you know, I can pay myself a salary for six, seven, eight, nine months, maybe up to a year. I would recommend having an emergency fund to the equivalent of one year's salary. So whatever you're earning, 
times that by 12, keep that money, keep it aside in a, in a separate account, and make sure you can call on that money at any time. Don't go put it into a fixed deposit for, for five years, because if you have an emergency and you can't access your money, then you have to take out a loan and pay interest on that loan. So it won't be viable. So keep that money aside. It's a contingency account for any emergencies that arise. Maybe you need to replace your tires on your car, you have unexpected health issues. It will make you sleep so much better at night, trust me on this. So please guys, these are my five money saving tips, my five best money saving tips. Please try your best to try and implement them. Maybe you won't implement these ones, but um, check down in the link, you will see uh, one of my blog posts. Please give it a read, tell me what you think, comment below. Please try and implement some of them. So it's very important that you make, you make a decision today to start saving money. Because if you don't, then it becomes a habit not to save money. So the best way to break a habit is to be conscious, be consistent, and develop new patterns. So check out the blog post in the link below. Please subscribe, share the video, tell your friends, and most importantly, keep, keep, keep on saving money. It's very important. So let's just recap those five, five money saving tips quickly. Number one, make a budget. Number two, tax yourself. Number three, record your expensive expenses sorry number four make your debt visual and number five build up an emergency fund all right guys see you next time